Right, hello everyone. <coughs> this is that Tartan twin engine that I made the exhaust for. Um, now the owner has asked me if I'd convert it for him to spark ignition. Here's the spark ignition system. Little tiny spark plugs. Um, I've fitted the mag magnet pick sender pickup and the uh, receiver. Now, herein lies a little story. Many years ago, uh, 2000, yeah, I think it was 2000, I used to build and fly very large aircraft, quarter, uh, third scale, stuff like that, with um, petrol engines in. Been flying for many, many years, never had a problem. And um, one day I was starting a Zenoa 38, which were absolutely brilliant at starting, never had any problems with them, and completely my fault, I made a mistake. Uh, I had the wrong model selected, and consequently the throttle was on reversed, and low throttle ended up being high throttle on this particular model. So I went through the normal routine of start the engine and under normal circumstances I had the plane held or restricted in some way but this particular time I was actually teaching my wife to fly and we were using a dual buddy box system and I had done a few things prior to that that had led up to my mistake and I said to her oh well you you just bang on to the radio I'll start the plane never been a problem blah de blah and on doing so I selected the wrong model anyway I went through my starting routine and sure enough started flicked it and at the time I was wearing these are the thickest welding gloves gauntlets I was wearing a pair of these I was running a Master Air Screw 18 inch and I flicked it to start it and sure enough it started instantly as it always had done but this time instead of going to tick over it went to full throttle and the plane came at me, I put my hands out instinct and without realising I heard a thud um, I knew something, I'd got something wrong, somebody grabbed the back of the plane for me, I can't remember who, um, I retrained and stopped the plane, the engine, and then I noticed blood, and I thought, what's that from, and I looked up, and I went like that, and my index finger had been, the glove had been completely taken out, and also my finger with it. Hospital did a very good job of trying to save it, sewed it back on, but it, it just wouldn't it wouldn't work. It, different things, different reasons. The um, the nerves died and all sorts. Anyway, ended up having to remove it completely, which it has been a problem an annoying problem to say the least and yes it still itches for those that wonder but after that I could never ever bring myself to go near one of these to start them and therein lies the problem can I bring myself to do this one so I've got to try and pluck up the courage to have a go at it. I know it seems silly at the time, but you can't you can't change the way your body and mind reacts to certain things. And in this case, mind says, "No, that's a damn silly idea. Get away from it." <laughs> anyway, I'm going to give it a go. I think so. That's the story. Anyway, and. Uh, 
Back in a minute, if I can, if I think I can pluck up courage to give this a go at starting. I'll see you in a minute. Right, we've cleaned everything out, charged the battery up, got some fuel through. See what we get now. Here we go. adjusting a lot and timing done and what have you cool. it runs setting up and everything I would have thought. Okay, well I think I'll leave it at that to be honest. Uh, so it probably wants a carb set up a lot and uh, which is a low idle, this one. So that's probably a bit rich, so we'll turn that in. Now we let's go out. One and a quarter. I don't know whether it's sucking the fuel through properly because um, because it hasn't got a pressure tube into the carb. Anyway, it's working. Wonderful. Cheers for now. Thanks for watching.